Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to start a new Kubernetes series, so please stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to start Minikube so we can have a cluster to start learning and developing on Kubernetes. So first, I'm going to search Minikube in the, in the search engine, and then I'm going to click on the first link. Here, I'm going to select my my environment, which is a Linux environment. This is architecture is correct. I'm going to release the stable version and I'm going to use the RPM package. So I'm going to download it in my terminal here. Okay, it will take a bit. Yeah, just finish. So you can do this. RPM, okay, and then I'm going to install it with an R, uh, with the RPM command. Okay, I'm going to install it now. Okay, it just finished. So how can we verify that it's correctly installed? I'm going to hit minikube command, and I'm going to start the cluster. Okay, as you can see, this is uh, an error because I am root. So I'm going to go back to a regular user and I'm going to try to start the cluster again. Okay, it will prompt me for my system password. Okay, let me start my docker daemon. Okay, you can see now it's running. So I'm going to go back to this comment and let's see. Okay, it will download the driver for my Docker installation and let's wait for this process to finish. Okay, it just finished to install the cluster, to, to create a cluster and to boot up. Now we need a kubectl command to interact with it. So I'm going to install it using jump. Okay, I'm going to be root for this. Oh, what happened? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, given this error, I'm going to rely on Minikube to install um, kubectl. So I'm going to do this. Okay. Oh, I'm root. Okay. Minikube kubectl get this one. And now it's installing kubectl within um, Minikube. Okay. As you can see now, the command has been installed. And now has been listed the, the cluster uh, components. This is what I have running now in my cluster environment, my Kubernetes environment. This is how you can install Minikube and Kubectl within CentOS. Please stay tuned. Bye.